Hey, I'm Zachary Taunton, and I am going around the world in 80 days with my father, and I'm sharing my experience with you. All right, everybody, I'm here in uh, Colonia, Uruguay, and I don't really have much to say about that besides the fact that it's Uruguay, which is cool. Uh, today, we set a record for most countries in fewest amount of days. We've done four countries in four days, South Africa, Brazil, Argentina, and now Uruguay. And actually, this place is, is really cool. It's like stepping back in time, and that's what we were told. It's like this entire city has stood still for the last 200 years. It's really cool. Hello everybody, right now I'm in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and so far I'm having a great time here. We got here two days ago, but we were gone all day yesterday, and that's kind of a fun story. So on the flight on the way in here from Sao Paulo, Brazil, we were looking at the, the flight tracker they have on the screens, and we noticed how close Uruguay was to Buenos Aires. So yesterday on a lark, we just went to Uruguay. So this is basically my first day in Argentina, and I'm having a good time. i just uh, been walking around the city all day. So just a second ago, I got to go into what's called the Grand Ateneo Bookstore. It's an opera house turned bookstore here in Buenos Aires, and it's amazing. Even though everything is in Spanish, I couldn't read it. It was a great experience, so if any of you ever happen to come to Buenos Aires, go to the Grand Ateneo Bookstore. So in order to get from Buenos Aires to Uruguay, you have to take a ferry. Now the lines on and off these ferries are unbelievably chaotic, like chaos on a scale I've only seen Eastern Europeans match. Anyway, when I was coming off the ferry and waiting line here in Buenos Aires, I could perceive that there was a woman glaring at me out of the corner of my eye, and I made the mistake of looking at her. Now, as soon as I looked at her, she just started tearing into me, and I have no idea what societal rule it was that I had violated, but apparently it's one that you can get no mercy for. So I pretended I couldn't hear her, but because I'd already looked at her, she knew I was lying about that but the reality is I couldn't understand her so I wasn't really lying uh, unfortunately I didn't have the foresight to start filming her now I don't think that would have diffused the situation but it would have made for a great video blog but anyway later when I got into a taxi she was passing on the sidewalk I could tell she was still very upset so dear Argentinian woman whatever rule I have broken I sincerely apologize <laughs> 